Why is it raining again? I don't know how I manage it, but how is it possible to choke the pickup? It's always a shambles every cam, isn't it? That's what you'll be seeing when you're watching this. But... <sighs> what have we actually got to do to get this silage finished? Better day today, it's Thursday. Andrews came away and managed to get it all bailed up. Bales still aren't quite as tidy as I would like them to be, but it's all done now. Much, it's still, still, hmm, still not as firm as it should be, but I think that's, well, obviously there's no excuse today for the grass not being dry enough, so obviously the swath not being that big is not ideal, but Dad's cartered the, the last of the bales home to the stacker and Andrew's away to wrap them all now. Um, so I'm not actually sure how much there was. There's probably something around about between 30 and 40 bales in here. So, no great shakes, but as I said, it's not got fertilizer. So I'll leave Andrew and Dad to go and get it wrapped now. I'm just happy that's done. We'll hopefully get more cut tomorrow um, and get some more, if it stays dry, some more wrapped. Why is it raining again? It's another field now we're cutting, well, Andrew cut yesterday. Um, again, never got any fertilizer. It's actually wilted a fair bit because it's been a really nice day up until now. So the swath probably almost half the size it was yesterday. So the bales are packing relatively well today because it's quite dry. I say that as it's starting to rain. Um, it's not that heavy. Um, but it's enough just to worry me. I just want to get this field done today and then get back to the milk and then hopefully we'll get that straw bale tomorrow and we'll hopefully get maybe another bale or two, a bale or two? Another field or two baled. This way just letting the bale at the back of the chamber. Getting another um, field or two baled this weekend. Um, we've actually got two fields after this to do. Um, so it'd be really fine just get, if the weather stays good this weekend, it'd be really fine just to get it all done this weekend and get it done with. Fingers crossed. I don't know how I manage it, but how is it possible to choke the pickup with about this size? It's almost impossible. I was just trying to get some drone shots there just now. Uh, I finished filming, I look back and the pickup is completely choked. It's bad enough choking it with um, straw, but 10 times worse for grass. Right, better get this cleared. Bailing is by far the worst thing I've flown a drone in. You try to concentrate, flying nice and smoothly, and then the tractor's going left to right at the bout, and then you end up choking it. This is absolutely horrendous. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me, but it's going to take me a wee while to get this out. I'm so angry at myself. <sighs> Look how much grass I had to pull out the pickup. Hopefully, I haven't broke a shear bolt because I don't have a shear bolt here. So, hopefully, let's try and start the tractor. Stop beeping.
try a power drive on. Space, high spec homes or an out city sanctuary. The All is good in the world. I've almost swore there actually. Oh, sometimes when you choke it, you can break a shear bolt, which means that the pickup won't run at all. But you can see there, it is running fine. I'll get that on the way back, that mound I pulled out, my own fault. Not the first time, I'm sure it won't be the last time. That's Saturday morning, and that's me just took an over from Andrew's away for his lunch. This is what I meant by this grass here. It's all shot here. This one's maybe actually better than I thought it was, to be honest. I don't know if you can see in the distance there, it's got a lot of shot grass, just a lack of fertilizer. This field actually hasn't had any fertilizer for the first cut or the second cut. So I'm actually pretty surprised at how, like it's not a big swath, don't get me wrong, but it's just as big as the, the other fields that at least had fertilizer um, for the first cut. Um, and obviously they've had, it, it has had slurry, so that should help it as well. But Overall, I'm pretty chuffed. We, this was a field I was always slightly worried about if I had, would have to get it rolled up because the swaths were that small, the baler would just make a mess. Um, so, and this, this field is obviously quite hilly as well, so it's quite important that the bales are even when they come out the back or they could take off. So, I'll go and get this cut, I'll get it drawn up, uh, get a few aerial shots for you guys, um, and then I'll go and get this cut. Then we need to get the baler on get it all bailed and hopefully get the straw done later today as well because it's a really nice day, perfect day for straw as well because it's got a nice breeze as well so the straw should be pretty good to bail. Could be demon washing that back window I dare say. But it's looking a lot better than I thought it would. I'm quite pleased with it actually. I can't even believe I was really worried about this field bailing. Because the worst thing about this field is it's got hills. And if the bales aren't even when they come out the back, they can take off down the hill and through the fence, which may have happened a number of times before. So it doesn't matter of being sensible. When I drop the bales out of the bale, I need to come up into the hall and drop them in there so they can't go too far. It's a new it was a new fence down at the bottom there, so you really don't want to be sticking silage mail through it for obvious reasons.
Welcome back. It's Tuesday and this field is finally bailed. Now, I cut this field on Saturday. Um, I did really bad problems with the tractor. It was lacking revs. I couldn't get it to bail the field at all. I went back to the bale on Sunday and I did manage to get the straw bailed finally. But what do you think the problem was? Comment below if you think you can guess. The problem never came across before, but it's quite an obvious one. So comment below if you can guess what I say. But basically, the light for um, Add Blue never came on the dash and I never noticed that it was empty. So when I was going up the hills and stuff like that, even in the flat, it was completely racking, lacking revs. We put some Add Blue in it yesterday and away she went. So Andrew managed to get the fuel across the braze cut. He's currently bailing it across there. I can't see from here, but it's across there. Um, so pretty angry about it. I didn't record anything on Sunday after cutting because I was so angry. Um, but yeah, it's just basically the light should have came on to tell me that the ad blue was low and it never came on. So a bit of a shambles from me really, to be honest. Should have noticed that, but it's always a shambles ever cam, isn't it? That's what you'll be saying when you're watching this. But anyway, Dad, I'm just waiting for Dad just now to come and cut his last 10 bales back and then we'll get them wrapped. Um, you'll notice that this field is quite an odd up and down field. Like the bales, I'm not overly happy with them because they're not very, they're quite soft and they're a bit in misshape, but we kind of came to an executive decision that um, we would just bale them a little bit soft because if you bale them firm, they roll. And we've put a number of bales down through that fence over the years. And the field that Andrew's bailing just now is even worse. So instead of tightening it up a little bit, it still is slack. It's, it was almost, a, we tightened up a little bit, but I slackened it off when I did the straw because it was a few damp patch, patches in it, but I just had to get it bailed on Sunday or it would have been wet. So I persevered with the tractor, I managed to get it bailed okay. Um, and that's why basically we ended up, we kind of slackened off a little bit, we tightened up a little bit, but when we thought about it, we just thought, well, it's not worth the hassle, and the field Andrew's in just now has actually got a new fence right around it, so the last thing I want to be doing is putting bales down through it. But then equally to that, when the swaths aren't that big, the bales maybe aren't that even anyway, so no matter how you try and go about launching the bales out the back, sometimes they'll turn and run down the hill when you try and prevent that anyway. So we'll see how we get on, but just try to prevent any bales going down through the fences is um, a win if we can do that. So that's why, yes, the bales are a little bit untidy, but if I can get them all wrapped, I'm happy with that. <sighs> what have we actually got to do to get this silage finished? Puncture, we're gonna have to cart all these home, two at a time. Take a little bit more time. I'm on the podcast tonight as well, so gotta get started the milk at five o'clock latest, so up against it as usual. Andrew's just came up and he's taken over the wrapper for me. I'm just away to get home and get organised to get finished, started the milking. But unfortunately, he just came up and told me the tractor's losing revs again. So I'm just going to go down, change a few filters on it and hopefully that's going to be it. That's actually what we originally thought was a problem. But when it started working fine, when we added that blue, we just left it. So I'm going to go home, get a few filters changed and then get ready to get the milk in. As I said, I've got to be in Turuff tonight at 7 because I'm on two blokes and I might podcast again. So I'll leave a description below if anyone fancies listening to four guys speaking absolute rubbish about football for an hour and a half. Um, it's good fun though, it's good fun. So if you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. See you next week.